Track 32. 1. As I was getting into the car, I saw the crack in the windscreen. I have no idea how it happened, but it's going to be expensive to repair. 2. My grandmother's feeling poorly and lost her appetite. I'm afraid she's not as strong as she used to be, but I don't know what I can do to help. 3. Oh, I've just been told that I've got to show my identification card to get a new key for my locker. But I think I left my ID in the locker before I lost my key. What a ridiculous situation. 4. I think you'd better come home straight away. That big tree in the garden has come down onto the power line in front of the house. It looks really dangerous. 5. I've just been invited to go to Alaska with my brother and his wife. It's the trip of a lifetime. But I should really save the money to pay for my course. I just can't decide what to do. Track 33 1. Don't worry, the damage to your car can be easily repaired. 2. I'm sure you'd like to do more to alleviate her suffering. 3. If you speak to the manager, she may be able to resolve your predicament. 4. I'll be right over. That's not a crisis you should tackle on your own. 5. You're never going to resolve that dilemma until you decide what you really want. Track 34 Good morning, everyone. I'm Kerry Wilson, one of the student welfare team, and I'm going to talk to you about how to deal with some of the difficulties that may arise while you're studying with us. Of course, we hope that you won't experience any problems during your studies, but it's good to know what help is available should anything go wrong. I know some of you have had a problem opening a bank account and that you are anxious about paying your course fees. If you're in this predicament, don't worry. To open an account, you need to present evidence that you are enrolled on a full-time course. Just go to the Language Centre office and ask for a letter of enrolment. As long as you have registered for the course, you can get a letter. You don't need to have paid your fees. For those of you who are living in private accommodation, we would advise you to speak to one of the student welfare team before signing a lease. Sometimes disputes can arise, for example in relation to damage to property. If you have a disagreement with your landlord, one of the welfare team can intervene if necessary. Finally, the student welfare office can be phoned at any time during the day or night in case of an emergency. If your room is burgled, for example, do not hesitate to phone the emergency number in your welfare handbook. This type of crisis is very rare, but please be assured that help is available should you require it.